Joining us now, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Lindsay, Senator, good Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Known you a long time. Yeah, 20 years. As it was happening, I was live on my radio show, and when I had my next break, I don't think you've ever had a more powerful moment in your career, and I've known you a long time. Thank you. Well, I just told the truth. This is not about finding the truth between Dr. Ford and Brett Kavanaugh. It's about delaying the hearing until get past the midterms, hope they pick up the Senate, and denying this seat to be filled by Donald Trump. It's not about the FBI. If you really wanted to know what the FBI thought about this, you would have come forward when you first knew about it. It's certainly not about protecting Dr. Ford. The one thing I learned beyond any doubt today any doubt, is this, uh, they never intended to protect Dr. Ford. And everything I believed I knew about Brett Kavanaugh, I am now more convinced than ever that he didn't do it, that he's the right guy to be on the court, that Ms. Ford has got a problem, and destroying Judge Kavanaugh's life won't fix her problem. And if we legitimize this, God help us all, because both sides can do this, to my friends on the other side, I would never have done this to one of your nominees, you should be ashamed. You voted for people that I know you <laughs> I did not share picked. their judicial I philosophy. never picked. Used to be, if you're a qualified elections matter, here's what the big picture is. Elections don't matter to them. They only matter when they win. Now, when we win, when Donald Trump wins, there are no rules, there are no boundaries. President Trump today, I hope you understand why he pick Brett Kavanaugh. Not only is he an incredibly qualified judge, an incredibly decent man, he and his wife are the parents of the year. If they're going to give an award for parenting, I'd give it to Ashley and Brett based on what their girl, his daughter, said about who to pray for. So I'm honored to help him. If I helped him today, it's one of the highlights of my career and to my Republican colleagues. If this guy goes down, <clears throat> then we don't deserve uh, to stay in power, because it's not about power to me, it is about the process, it is about honoring elections to my Democratic friends. Joe Manchin, I like him a lot. Joe, you can't figure this out. Trump won by 40 points. Do you really believe that uh, Brett Kavanaugh is a serial rapist? Do you believe any of this garbage? You know, I'm sorry that Dr. Ford went through this. She shouldn't have had to go through it, but I am convinced beyond any shadow of a doubt that Brett Kavanaugh is not the man that they're trying to make him, and this is all political. So, I hope, Joe, I hope you'll step up. Heidi, I like you a lot. Joe Donnelly, great guy. Why can't you talk about whether or not uh, we've met the burden here? If, you, if he had to prove he was innocent, he did it for me, but he doesn't have to. Let me ask you, uh, Republicans met in conference tonight in the yeah. Senate. Bring us inside the meeting as much yeah. as you are able to right. share. Uh, it went well. I think everybody was blown away by Brett. Can you imagine doing what he did today? No. Your life has been ripped apart. You had a 32-hour hearing. You meet with every senator. They've known about this for weeks, and they spring, in, spring it on you at the end. Then it goes to where Avenatti comes out and says, you're, you're a serial rapist, you drug women. No, gang rape, you rep, gang yeah, rape and, and boys lining the halls. And, 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 and your whole life is just absolutely destroyed. I think Republicans today felt like Brett Kavanaugh not only met the test, passed the test, that this is political, and I will be brokenhearted if the Senate rejects this good man. Bob Corker said yes. Jeff, good, good for Bob. Jeff Flake off camera said this is a tough one. Um, well, Susan I would just say, to, I would just say, Jeff, it is tough because I, I don't know what happened to Dr. Ford, but I've been a lawyer all my life. I used to do this stuff for a living. Jeff, you couldn't get a warrant. She can't tell you where it happened, when it happened. It's not he said, she said. It's that she said and they said. All people named said it didn't happen. All four. And you can't give the date and the time. And my God, he, he went through a calendar of 1982. This is the most squared away guy I've ever met in my life. I was just honored to be in his presence. If, again, I've never seen anybody command a room like he did. I've never seen anybody more sincere. And I've never seen anybody more used and abused than Dr. Ford was by the Democrats. Let me ask you, it seems um, Jeff Flake, Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, yeah. and I, I've actually been quoting Susan Collins because she's the one that Susan's rightly pointed really out from the beginning, this has been unfair oh, to God. both sides here, and she's right. She's been right yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, what I would tell Susan is that 
If you're the way they say Brett is, you wouldn't have the life Brett has lived. You wouldn't have 65 women coming forward. You wouldn't have six FBI investigations that found nothing. <clears throat> you wouldn't be in this profile of a job. For He's been in the highest levels of government, a target for 26 years. You find out about it after the hearing's over. They knew about it. They sat on it. There's no corroboration. And the Avenatti thing tells you all they need to know about where they're headed with him. If we delay this, there'll be more coming. And he doesn't deserve it. It is time to vote. The Senate Judiciary Committee will meet tomorrow morning. Yeah, to Walk us through the process. The full Senate will vote, we expect, what, Tuesday? Yeah, we will vote tomorrow in committee. I will go through why I believe he's qualified and capable. I will tell you without any hesitation what I think's happened here in the confirmation process. If this is the new norm, God help us all. Uh, I think he will get reported out of committee along a party line vote. I hope Jeff can get there. I would just stress again that this man has led an incredible life. Everything they're saying about him is made up and it comes out of the left field and it's not corroborated. Please don't take away everything he's done. He's the number one in his class ever, ever since he's you know, done anything. And, and I think we're going to get him confirmed. And if we go to the floor of the Senate, we're going to pick up some Democrats. Let me put, let me tell you this. If you live in these Trump states and you can't figure this out, <clears throat> good luck to you. Let, let me ask you one last question. As you look at the emotion of today and all that happened, I, I, <laughs> I have my, one of my, my best friend from third grade, his name is John Gomez. Yeah. And John called me yesterday. Hannity, he goes, you always say every two, four years, yeah. Republicans are racist, sexist, my whole yeah, list, right. as he calls it. Yeah. And he goes, I think I understand it a little more now why you always do it. Because when you say these horrible things, and now we've gotten used to it, we expect it. You know, it's like my father was killed all over again. Elect Republicans and yeah. black churches will burn, or crosses are going to burn. Um, or uh, Republicans don't want to count African Americans in the census, Al Gore said. This has to stop, Senator. Well, those are political arguments that we can handle, and people obviously That's don't buy. It. Though, isn't it? This is destroying somebody. Yeah. I would hope and pray that I never get this desperate as a political person to destroy somebody. This was a wholesale effort to take a good man and ruin his life, and it backfired on him. This is not about political arguments. This is not about what they will do, what we will do. This is about the fact that they were willing to set a man up and destroy his life. And, uh, it was hard to watch this today. It was really hard to watch. And when he talked about his daughter, you know, let's, let's, let's pray for the lady, too. <clears throat> this is a good man. Please vote for him. You know, Senator, I think the reason your moment was so powerful is it was raw and real and unplanned. <laughs> it was um, totally, and I totally think you, real. <laughs> I think you reflected the totally views of many unplanned. Americans. You know what um, got me was, why won't you agree to the FBI investigation? What do you got to hide? These are the same people that sat on the information that made it impossible for us to do an investigation because they wouldn't help us, knew it for weeks, plan what they're doing intentionally, I am convinced, uh, out of Dr. Ford for the political moment that we saw today. Sad. And it blew up in their face. And I hope America understands that if this is the new way of doing business, uh, we're, we're, we're going in the wrong direction. And we've got a chance to turn it around beginning tomorrow at 930. And in 40 days, the American people get their chance. Yeah. Senator, thank you so Thanks. much for being with us. We appreciate it.